Hello all. I want to make a quick video about how to take one of these cheap composite screens from eBay, it's called a backup camera screen, and change it from the 12 volt input to a 5 volt input. And as you see a little later, um, it can even take 4 volts or less straight from a lithium battery. Here I'm just removing the uh, buttons for the menu. We won't be needing those. And here I'm trying to take the wires out of the little um, sheath that it came in unsuccessfully. So I had to go ahead and shorten it a little bit. There we go. Just removing the hot glue real quick and I should be able to pop the screen right out. Simple and easy. These could be had for about $12 on eBay. Now you see here there's three capacitors and one's 10 volt. So the 35 volts, that's where the voltage is coming in, 12 volts, and the 10 volt one is regulating the 5 volt output. So this is where we're going to connect power. The black side, the black stripe, is negative, and the other side is positive. You see this trace right here? We can connect 5 volts to it and directly power it. So what I'm going to do is scrape off some of the uh, PCB uh, solder mask and solder a wire right to it. Now you can normally connect to the 10 volt side or the positive side of the 10 volt capacitor or you can connect it to either side of the inductor. See here, I scraped off the solder mask. You can see closer. Um, my finger there is pointing at the inductor. Maintain this connection. And I disconnected the uh, red wire from the board, which was the original. 12 volt input and I'm wiring in, I'm going to solder it directly to this trace. So the colors are black for ground, red for 5 volts input, yellow for video, and white for video 2. I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to my video source, which is a Nintendo running Contra. And for a power source, I just have an 18650 battery. So I'm running it directly off of a lithium battery. I slipped on some plastic just to protect the screen and we'll see what it looks like here. Now it may look a little fuzzy here but it looks a lot better in person um, and for 12 bucks I'm not really complaining that much. Alright, thanks and have a good day. Bye.